Hey guys, so it's December already, which means Christmas is like two weeks away. Oh my god, I'm so excited. And so I thought I would make this video to show you some nice ways to make some easy and affordable Christmas presents for the people you care about and want to show them how much you care about them. <laughs> they're, they're super easy and affordable and a great presents for the people who you don't want to buy a really big present for, don't want to spend a large amount of money on, but still want to get them something really nice and thoughtful and show how much you care about them and how much they mean to you. These gifts revolve around my three favorite things, mason jars, food, and puns. So yeah, they're really cute and they're really funny and I think anyone will appreciate these and kind of really, I think anyone would like these. My two favorites out of all of them were these two. And in them we have these ones are the all natural lollies dinosaur ones. These are my favorite lollies. I just, oh, these are just like the best lollies ever. And I filled them with the dinosaur lollies and a white spray painted uh, lid. And when the label says, my love for you will never go extinct. So, you know, dinosaurs, extinct. Oh, so funny. <laughs> my other favorite one, as you can tell because I've been eating them, is the M&M jar. My sister came up with the pun on the lid, which was genius. She's 10 years old and I couldn't believe that she came up with this. I was a bit annoyed that I didn't come up with it myself. But anyway, the lid says, um, I was a W until you turn my life around, which I think is so, so cute and so funny. And I think these are just perfect gifts to give to anyone to make them laugh. And they also mean something as well, which I really, really like. So if you want to find out how to make these really cute, personalized Christmas presents, Keep on watching and also stick around to the end to find out how you can download these really cute labels and also customize them yourself. Okay, so you're gonna need the following things for this DIY project. You're definitely gonna need mason jars. I bought six of these for seven dollars at the reject shop. All of your lollies and chocolates, uh, some spray paints and extra decorative items to decorate your jars with. And before we start filling, we're going to need to do some prep to get our jars ready. So what I did, I made these cute labels and I just picked what color I wanted and just cut them out with scissors. Pretty easy part, this one. <laughs> now this step is totally optional, but I lined up my labels to the jars and picked a color of spray paint that I wanted to paint them with. These are the three uh, different brands and colors I use. And then I just spray painted uh, my lids the color of the spray paint. I gave them a good two coats and waited half an hour in between each one just to make sure they were completely dry. You don't have to do this, but I think it just really gives the jars a really nice festive touch. These are what the other colors look like, the pink and the aqua. And out of all the brands, the aqua one was definitely my favorite. Here I'm just organizing the labels to their matching lid and now I'm going to show you a few different ways on how to glue them on. Uh, this way I use Mod Podge and this what I find is the most secure way to glue them on. So what I did, I just put a dollop of glue on top of the lid, spread that out with the brush and once I had kind of spread it out a good amount, I took the label and stuck it on top of the lid. Once that was on, I just put the glue over the whole label and this really made sure that the label was really stuck onto the lid. In hindsight, I used a little bit too much glue for this one, but you just spread it out and then it'll look fine. Okay, this method is a little bit easier and less permanent. So what you do, you just take double-sided sticky tape and I just stuck that onto the back. I put around two strips on top and then just stuck it onto the lid. This way is great because it means that you can reuse the jars later and yeah, they're not as permanent as the glue ones which will be glued on forever. The great thing is though, this really does stay on and as you can see, it doesn't lift off when I try to pick it off with my finger. However, if you want more of a glossy finish, I'd go with the Mod Podge. Okay, so this method is rather if you'd like to create a dangly label than actually gluing onto the lid. So what I did, I just laminated one of my labels and then punched a hole into the corner that I could fit ribbon through later. This method's also really great because you can reuse the labels and it's less permanent. Now's the fun part where we get to fill our jars and decorate them. So I'm gonna start with my one of my favorite jars. It's my Love For You Will Never Go Extinct. 
I got the all natural dinosaur lollies and pretty much just filled them into the jar. This is pretty much a reoccurring thing throughout this video. You're just filling jars full of food. <laughs> but I just put the lid on when I was done and then wrapped around some cute ribbon I bought from the reject shop. This was really nice. It's like a metallic silver rope ribbon. I bought silver and gold. But for this one, I just used silver and just tied a nice bow when I was done. This one's the perfect gift for people who don't like chocolate and like something a little bit sweet. There's never a sound moment when you're around and this jar is so cute and really affordable to make. I just took a packet of sour straps in hindsight. I really needed two because they flopped down really easily. <laughs> but I just filled the jar with these, put on the lid and put some nice metallic uh, silver rope around. This one's really, really cute and I really, really like these lollies so I'm definitely giving them away so I don't eat all of them. <laughs> Now this jar is another favourite, it's the I'm Nuts About You, which as you can probably see coming will revolve around nuts. I uh, used two different nuts, uh, these French vanilla coated nuts and almond milk chocolate almonds, both almonds, and I just layered them in the jar so I just filled different layers until I reached the top. And this one's awesome for people who love nuts, maybe not for the people who are allergic to nuts, so maybe be wary of that. I really really like this jar, I think this one's really really cute and fun and to decorate it I used both silver and gold uh, ribbon and just tied them together and wrapped them around the jar and made a cute little bow. Now I did this jar in two different ways. This is the first one. So I took this Swiss Miss hot chocolate powder satchels and I just filled them into this jar and it had this really cute, I have the hots for you, hot chocolate little jar. The other one I did, I took these chock bomb balls, which are these chocolate balls that actually have marshmallows inside of them and they're amazing. And then I filled up the empty space with just marshmallows, which I thought made it really pretty and really cute. And I just filled so yeah, I just pretty much filled the jar until it was packed full <laughs> and then put on the lid and this is the one where I use that laminated label for and to go that little step beyond, I put the how to prepare little instructions on the back of the label just so people know how to use these balls because I've never seen them before so I'm sure other people never have seen them before. <laughs> But yeah, I really love these ones and I think these are great for people who are celebrating Christmas in winter. Okay, last but not least, this is my favourite jar out of all of them. And I just filled them with M&Ms. I used the original ones and the mini ones because mini M&Ms are just my favourite. Um, I filled them to the top and put on the lid and tied around some silver and gold ribbon. This one's just absolutely my favorite. I think it's the funniest and just really cute. So there you go. There are all of your really cute, punny, funny DIY mason jars. I think they're so, so cute and they also taste really great. <laughs> I think anyone would love these gifts. And yeah, let me know if you end up making them for someone because I know I'd love to receive this. So that's how to make these really cute, punny, food-filled mason jars um, for Christmas and for the festive season. They make awesome gifts and I just can't wait to give them to people. And yeah, you can really fill them up with anything you like, any food that you like, or not even food, just anything really. Anything. To make it easier for you guys, I'm going to upload these labels somewhere online. I haven't decided yet. And I'll leave the link in the description bar below. So what you can do, you'll be able to download the labels that I had in this video. And also a full set of just empty labels that you can fully customize to yourself to write whatever message or puns you'd like inside. You'll have the choice of the teal, green and pink label. So yeah get creative and let me know if you end up downloading these labels because i would love to know that you guys are using my stuff for christmas and i'd also just like to know what kind of puns you came up with or what one's your favorite out of these jars if you also end up recreating these some form of these jars please tag me on instagram at karajama because i would love to see your creations and your funny puns and yeah other than that, I have an awesome, safe, and just overall great Christmas. And until next time, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.
you, they, you, blah, 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 blah. So I, I did a good, I did a couple, I did a, blah, 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 blah. Mason jar, food, ma food fill mason jar. Anything.